two, three, four. I don't care what my teacher says. Guitar I probably picked up when I was seven or eight. It became my kind of love and my solace. I know somewhere in my 20s or late 20s, the first thing I noticed was, was my penmanship. Pouring coffee was not my forte. I'd be performing and someone would say to me, Jill, you seemed really nervous out there. And I was like, I, I didn't feel nervous at all. Well, your hands were shaking. I thought, huh, that's, that's odd. As a performer, you want people to feel comfortable. You don't want them, you want them to focus on your song, your performance. You don't want them to think, oh, is something wrong with her? You just don't want them to worry. So I went to um, a doctor about a couple months later, and sure enough, he said that I have a thing called essential tremors. It was when the tremors started affecting my guitar playing a bit that I got concerned. I had written this little off-the-cuff thing about having shaky hands, and it was kind of my, instead of telling people, hey, I have an essential tremor, why not have a song about it? Shaky hands in the morning, shaky hands when I don't eat. I was talking with my neurologist about, he told me about some options. He felt that the Infinity DBS system, deep brain stimulation, he thought that was a better option for me, so I just went with, I trusted him. After the procedure, pretty much right away saw improvement, especially things like pouring tea, playing guitar, and I remember I wasn't self-conscious about the shake. That was strangely how that just kind of went away. I would say for me to be able to continue to do what I'm doing, be a star in a theater piece, play guitar, it was something I had to do to keep doing the things that I want to be doing. This technology is fantastic. There's so much more to do. And I think maybe that's what's kept me going. I honestly feel I have not reached my peak. <laughs>